and let's start doing a couple of dif different scenes here. The first one that I will open will be something really, really simple, actually. We will start with two simple lines. Have you worked with Flash? Some of you. No? Yes? <laughs> okay, good. Now, let's say that here I arrive. Do you know that in Flash and in Harmony, in the previous versions, we used to have something that two type of lines, brush lines and pencil lines. Brush lines are contour. Pencil lines is a center line with a pressure, right? In Flash and in the older versions of Harmony, a pencil line looks like this. And it's really simple, straight lines like that. Now, in the new version of Harmony, we say, why stop it there? Let's push it more. Let's start giving more functionality to pencil lines. Because pencil lines are really great when you are talking about a library of elements and you want to change the thickness of the lines, it's great when you're using pencil lines because you can change it over time, you can change it depending if you have a close-up, but always the lines are so same line width. Let's break that and let's start doing a little bit more things. For example, we go here to the tool properties and the first thing that I will do here with the pencil line is I will change the type of ending on the pencil line is that now the pencil line is not rounded ended. Now it's a square, or I can put round again and a square on the other side. There you go. Okay, that's really simple. Let's do one, one thing additional. Let's go to, now to our tools. We go to the pencil editor, and here to the pencil editor, we select and we have control points here. And actually, we can start manipulating the pencil line like this. Let's add a little bit of pressure like this, something like that, and then go to the end of the line and make it thinner like this. We can actually control how do we want to have the tip end. And we do exactly the same here on the other side. And then we go like that, and we change a little bit this on both sides. There we go. You can manipulate one single side. You can manipulate both sides. Like in this case, I can manipulate just this side or I can shift and manipulate both sides together. It's really simple. And now we have a pencil line that if we select our another tool, the contour editor, actually, we can just come here and start bending the line. And now we're bending a pencil line directly with pressure information. Now with this, I can create a really nice shape lines like this. And if we select the line, let's go one step forward. Let's, let's add something additional to the lines. If I select the line, I can come here and I have a lot of textures. And now we can apply a texture to the line. Now we have a pencil line that has actually a texture on it, and we can manipulate the pencil line, and the texture automatically will be preserved. And we can change the thickness of the line, we can change the shape of the line. That makes, that makes your, all your, uh, your models have a new way of working, because you now you can have one single model, character model, with pencil lines that you can control the different line thickness and you can do the close-up. You don't need to have any more different levels of models, depending if it's a close-up or a long shot, or if you're going to do a tracking into the camera, you are actually, you can control this line thickness directly over time with the system. Now, if we use this concept with this, you have these lines. Let's go to another, to a, to another drawing here. We have this drawing of this superhero. It's done with pencil lines. Now we can change that lines, and let's say that we go, we can have it with different pressure. And actually you can just select that. <coughs> select the pencil line, select copy, that style of lines, go to this one, 
and paste it. And actually, I can select here all this, and I say paste, and I, now I have the paste with the different line thickness all around. It's really, really simple just to do it like this and apply different line thickness to the character. It means that you can have a template with different line thickness that you can apply to the different characters. And this in pipeline is extremely important. For example, you can have a character that the eyelashes are the different thickness than the rest of the, than the, rest of the lines or the outline of the character is really, really thick and the inside of the lines are really thin. You can actually have all those templates directly stored. And when you are doing your character library, you can just apply that template directly into the character and make it work. Now, using the same concept here, actually we have a simple character here that we can apply lines that make it look like if it was a brush line, or we can apply some texture to the line, or we can apply color to the line. And seeing with color means that Actually, you can do a lot of modifications, a lot of different styles, and you can create your own texture, actually. You can go in Photoshop, create your small texture, and apply it directly to the lines. It's really powerful and really versatile. Means that this is the first part. It's a concept of a whole new vector engine, new line engine, that will enable you to create m multiple type of styles, not just the simple cut out, thick, or the same line style. Now you can start exploring much more artistic styles with application.